Protesters gathered outside Stoke-on-Trent City Council today to oppose the council's plans to cut spending in the next four years. Members of the trade unionist and social coalition staged the demonstration. Protest was ahead of a council meeting where £27 million of spending cuts were approved. Up to 500 jobs are set to be lost. We're hoping to highlight the incompetence and the complete disinterest of the council in the needs of the people of Stoke-on-Trent. They're driving through the austerity programme at the behest of not just the Tory government, but the Labour Party, who are fully behind austerity because they've got no other ideas. They've jumped on the right-wing bandwagon, cut, 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 make the poor pay for the bankers' criminality. So we're basically highlighting the wrongness of it. Stoke City Council have currently got 200 mainly young people who've been sanctioned by the DWP into working in the Parks and Gardens Department for the dole money. 53 quid a week, 30 hours a week, £1.79 an hour. There's a legal minimum wage of £6.50, which is not sufficient, but £1.79, it's slave labour. And we're not standing for it. The City Council do not listen. The City Council take their orders from Labour in London and they do as they're told, because they're spineless. We will carry on protesting till our final breath. Protesters said that cutting the budget so deeply in all the wrong areas will hit the most vulnerable the hardest. The Tusk candidates say that if elected, they'll only take the national average workers' wage. Rebecca Clark reporting for Staffs Live.